Welcome to Rick Snyder's Washington on YouTube, where you get the whole story. So please like, share, subscribe, comment, even hit the thanks button. Well, it's honeymoon time coming up, and I'm not talking about spring weddings. I'm talking about when the new Washington Commander's owner takes place. The first thing he should do, all right, you have your press conference, tell everybody it's going to be a new era, the old days are gone, this is going to be the new days. And then you make two plans. One, win back fans. And two, win back politicians. Okay, with the fans, you tell them, listen, man, I know the last guy treated you like an ATM. I, and, and I just spent $6 billion for this team, so I can't cut you too much of a break. But we're going to appreciate you. We're going to do something. I don't know. You know, maybe, could you cut ticket prices a couple bucks? Could you make concessions a couple bucks less? Could you, like, give people who who want season tickets, give them something special? you got to treat these fans like they deserve after so many years of abuse. Come back and say, I want you here. And that's going to be a key to getting fans and getting new fans. got to remember, there's a generation of younger fans never saw this winning. you got to do something for them, especially when we think about in a few years, the stadium's coming, and you want those fans to fill that stadium. You've got to grow. Now, you got to win, okay? And that's another thing. That's for football people. But as an owner, treat these fans special. And number two, you're on speed dial with, with all three, Virginia, Maryland, and D.C. leaders, to say, hey, we're back in business for a stadium. What do you got? I know you pulled back from the last guy. You didn't like him. I'm not the last guy. I'm the new guy. I've got a different plan. We're all going to share the wealth. We're all going to get rich off this. Politicians love that part. You know, and, and try and rekindle those because there's not a lot of time to waste. You know, it's going to take a, at least a year to come up with a deal for a stadium. And then it's going to take at least a couple years to build it. I mean, you're looking probably four years. And we'll see four years from now is 2027 when the team could leave FedEx. So you got to be nice to everybody and start hustling. I'm Rick Snyder. Thanks for coming. I'll see you soon.